Hi guys, I'm Stephanie with PDQ.com. You might have seen in the past that I've done some videos on SQL and webcasts as well. We've decided to take a new approach to doing SQL videos and tutorials, and we're deciding to take it completely from scratch. So going from there, we're going to start this new video series as well as blogs to kind of teach you how to use SQL in inside inventory and also in another text editor. So what you'll see me do on these videos here is literally take it from the ground up. I'm going to be using another text editor to write SQL code. This one's going to be SQLite Maestro. You can use whatever you'd like uh, and then I'll drop the query also into PDQ inventory so you can see the results there. The only reason why I'm using another format is because it kind of bolds some of the, the words and colorizes them. It's just a little bit more visual and easier to understand. So if we're going to start from scratch, we know that SQL means structured query language. And with that, we're using SQL to really run reports and pull data in the data that we need. So with this, we'll start literally from scratch with a select statement. So all SQL statements start with select. Um, and what select asks the engine to do is it tells the engine what data to select. So we want to select certain data from a table or a database and that's exactly where it's coming from, right? So any SQL query that you see me write or even from the ground up is always going to start with select. And just for organization purposes, I always type out my queries in the main clauses in capital letters and that's just to be a little bit more organized. So I'll introduce how we're, what select means or how it works. Um, and right now we're just going to start with a select star. Whenever we say select star, that means we're going to select all rows, all columns from a table of our choice. So just for simplicity and purposes, I'm going to say I want to select um, all rows, all tables from, let's say, a computer's table. I want to know what we have in our computer's table. And I am using an inventory database. So if you are using PDQ inventory, you will be able to use this uh, same exact database. So as long as you have data in your database, you will have results in your results set. So if I go ahead and say select star from computers and execute the query here in SQLite Maestro, I'm going to come up with a table. It comes in a formatted table. It's also known as result set um, with all of the columns and fields that we are going to see in the computer's table. Now, if I go and drop this into PDQ inventory, it's going to do the same exact thing. If I've already saved it here just for speed's sake, but we go into reports in our PDQ inventory. I already have it run, but I'll just go ahead and click define just for a visual. And right here I have the same exact query, select star from computers. It's going to give me the same exact result and I have every single column that the computers table has as well as all of the rows for all of the computers in that table as well. Now say I want to filter that down a little bit more and I don't necessarily need to see all the columns. That's totally fine. We just won't use the select star. So if I'm going to rewrite this out, let's say I only want to see a computer ID and I want only want to see the computer's name and what else? Let's see, maybe their operating system name other things like that. So let's go ahead and type out the, only the specific columns that we want to see. So I'll go ahead and say select. We want our computer ID. We might want the computer's name. We might want the OS name, which is our operating system name. And we'll just start from there. So if I go ahead and say select these three columns from this table, computer's table, I go ahead and execute the query. And I'm only going to have three columns of results now, as opposed to every single uh, field in that table. And I have the same thing here. So if I go ahead and copy this query and drop it into PDQ inventory as well. So open inventory back up. I have a select columns query already written here. If I go to define the report, this one I just added one more column is, is online just to see if they're online or not. Um, and the results will render with an integer to let us know. So here I go, I run the results and I only have four columns in my result set instead of all of them. And that is really how we start a SQL query with a simple select statement. We're selecting which data we want from a specific table and it gives us back whatever we ask for. We either ask for all rows, all columns, 
or we get a little bit more specific and we ask for specific columns. In this case, we only ask for four columns and that's exactly what you see here in our results set. Stay tuned for other SQL snippets from scratch. I'm Stephanie with PDQ.com.